Okay, I got a couple bottles here ready to come out. I can see this one here is broken. It's cracked right there. But let's see what this is. Well, that's got some weird kind of top on it. Got something on the bottom. I don't know. Interesting bottle. I'll set that one aside. This just doesn't look like much here. Well, it's got some writing on it though. Uh, Vaseline. Cheeseboro, New York. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that one was broke. Let's see if this one comes out. I don't really see anything on it. It's a cork top bottle. Here's the top that was in it. It's got another one of these metal tops on it. I'll have to save these, see what see what's up with that. Okay, I'll let you know if I get anything else ready. Okay, I just got this one loose here. Let's see what it is together. See if it's whole or broken. Oh, cool. Oh, sorry about that. Look, a little handle on it. Doesn't appear to be broken. Oh, that's nice. Haven't found one of these before. Cool. Let you know if I find anything else. Okay, I got another bottle started here. Let's see if it's whole. Let's see if I can get it out here. It's in there pretty tight. Oh, yeah, it's whole. Nile quality. Pork top bottle. Eh, I'll clean it up. Okay, I'll let you know if I find anything else. Well, I got a new hole here started today. I'm getting down to a couple bottles. I found a couple things while I was digging. This was an interesting looking bottle doesn't say anything on it but it's got a weird shape I thought I'd hold on to it see what it turns out to be this I'm not even sure if it's a bottle I'm wondering if this is uh, an old light bulb interesting I'll have to check it out this was an old HJ Heinz jar but it's chipped on the top and a bunch of miscellaneous odds and ends that just interesting okay let's see what these three bottles I just got ready to pull out are I think one is gonna be good this looked to be like a ketchup bottle but I'm not sure let's see if I can get it out of here oh no it's a soda bottle. Ooh. Mosquitoes are bite. <laughs> Sorry. Interesting design on it. I'll hang on to it, see what I can find out. And there's this bottle. Doesn't really say anything. 
This is the one that I want to find out. I can see a little lettering here on the side. Let's see what we got. It's got just a tiny chip here on the top. Yep. Chrome Bottling Works, Jefferson, Wisconsin. That's a cool bottle. Okay, set it up there. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Okay, I'm just starting a new hole here. And I got a Jefferson County, I mean a city of Jefferson, Wisconsin, Crown Cola. Let me see. Ooh. Looks to be good. Crown Bottling Works, Jefferson, Wisconsin. That's a nice bottle. Okay, I'll let you know if I find anything else. I just got another bottle here. Let me turn it over and see if it says anything. Uh, nothing there. Ooh, yep, it's embossed. What's it say? Wakefielders, Blackberry, Balsam Compound. Cool. Looks like it's got a little bit of a blue color to it. Should be a nice bottle. Okay, I'll let you know if I find anything else. I got a bottle here. I can see got a crack on the side here but I'm hoping it's still whole it'll still be a nice display piece Let's see if I can get it out still stuck pretty good I'm gonna work on it a little more I'll let you know what happens okay I got it out the top's not broken off. It does have a big crack right here. But hopefully I can get it cleaned up without it breaking. It says the reliable old time preparation for home use. Then on the other side it says Prepared by Dr. Peter Farney and Sons Co., Chicago, Illinois, USA. Nice bottle. I gotta clean that up. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Well, I've been spending a lot of time out digging bottles. I got a blue Vix. Uh, milk of magnesia and then a larger milk of magnesia I got six uh, white milk glass jars this one's mentholatum uh, This one Musterol Cleveland. This one's plain. Plain uh mentholatum regular trademark. And this one was just an interesting looking jar. Then I got a bunch of plain bottles. This is an Illinois glass medicine type bottle, cork top bottle thing. Another thin cork top bottle. Then I got this. I was thought it was an interesting looking bottle. 
I don't know if it was for uh, vinegar or salad dressing or a syrup or something. A couple one pint cork top bottles. Some small ones. An inkwell. It's kind of cracked up and busted. It said Sanford on the bottom. This one says Quick Stick Patent. I think that might be a shoe polish. This one was just an interesting looking bottle. Then I got one small soda type bottle that's got a bunch of panels around it. And then I got four larger ones that were the same. This one looks like a ketchup bottle, but it doesn't have a screw top. It's an older style top. And I found these two bottles, this one and this one, and they had these old style cork stoppers in them still. Thought that was kinda neat. <clears throat> these are some miscellaneous items I found found my first black doorknob a mason jar lid insert I think this is the back of a pocket watch another pocket watch part this was neat it's an ID plate it's from uh, what's it say uh, Eureka storage Eureka dry storage batteries Jefferson Wisconsin but the plate is made out of lead small vial this is a pretty fancy little bottle I don't know if it had perfume or something it's got some flower decoration around the outside this little bottle Maddie thought it looked like a a brandy bottle for like a Barbie or something <laughs> then I got a Sloan's liniment this is an Owens it's a triangle shaped bottle thought that was interesting this is R RT Rawling Company, Freeport, Illinois. Cork tap bottle. This was a nice jar. I thought it'd be good for holding coins or marbles or something. On the bottom it says Thrift Jar Company, Thrift, Baltimore. MD that took a lot of cleaning it had like a paint or something stuck on the outside this was an interesting shaped bottle and it has the federal law forbid sale or reuse of this bottle um, made in the USA and some patent number I'm gonna have to look up here's a trademark Vaseline Cheeseboro New York here's a Melons Food Company Boston US small size but it's a uh, bluish tint to the glass. Thought that was pretty nice. Here's a 
milk bottle that I was disappointed the top was broke off. <clears throat> Wanted to save it so that I can know what I want to find later. It's an Edgewater stock farm, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Then, for Keith K, found this Heinz H J Heinz Company patented, and this one is another Heinz, but it's got a big chip in it. H J Heinz Company. Keith was telling me he got his start working in a warehouse at a Heinz place. <clears throat> Found this bottle. It's a little bigger than a quarter. It says Heinz. This is H I N D S, not H I N Z. Honey and almond cream, alcohol, 7%. A.S. Heinz Company, Portland, Maine, USA. Thought it was neat because it's the smallest bottle I found with embossing on it. This was kind of neat. I believe it's an old light bulb. The bottom is eaten out of it. Just thought I'd hang on to that, see if I could find anything out about it. Found two of these small, they look like a soda bottle, but I don't know what it had in it. It says uh, Armors Top Notch Brand Chicago. Found two of them. Found this bottle. It's a Pluto Water, America's Physic, P-H-Y-S-I-C. And then on the bottom it's got a man and it says Pluto. Found this knee-high soda bottle still has some paint on it so I thought that was pretty good <clears throat> found a Pat D coke from Madison Wisconsin I found another Art Heger M and B Co from Jefferson Wisconsin found two Listerine bottles, a smaller one and then a little bigger one. Found two of these Crown Bottling Company, Crown Bottling Works, Jefferson, Wisconsin. I found a bunch of them now. And then these are my favorites right here. This one says Chamberlain, Colic, Cholera, and Diarrhea Remedy. Des Moines, Iowa, Chamberlain and Company. And this has an applied cork top on it. And it's got a blue tint to it, so that's a pretty nice bottle. This one is Wakefield's Blackberry balsam compound thought that was pretty interesting seems like the seam stops about here so it might be an applied top but I'm not sure it might just be ground down at the top but it looks like it was a handmade top and then I got this one it says the reliable old time preparation for home use. 
And then on the other side it says, Prepared by Dr. Peter Farney and Sons Company, Chicago, Illinois, USA. It does have a big crack right here, but it, it's a good display piece. <clears throat> and I had found one before that was like that over here. This one says, Dr. Peter's Cure Cow. And on the other side it says, Made by Dr. P. Farney, Chicago, Illinois. So I'm guessing this one was an older bottle. And this one is later when he started, when he brought his kids into the business with him, his sons. Then I did a little metal detecting out on a farm. Found a couple pieces of, I'm guessing, gas pipe, but they had some decorative pieces on them. Then I found a heavy duty barrel ring from a small barrel. Then I found this license plate. 105448 Wisconsin 16 that's the oldest license plate I've got so far 1916 I guess Wisconsin started making license plates in 1905 so I can find about 11 years older sometime something to shoot for then I did a little metal detecting at the park. Found some clad and a sinker. Uh, four quarters, four dimes, nine memorials, and three zincs. And that's what I've found this week uh, out hunting around. Hope everyone's doing good. I'll let you know what I find next week. Hey guys, we just a reminder, we are at our 140th of subscribers right now, close to our 150th subscriber giveaway. And uh, subs in order to be in the contest, uh, same rules as the last two times, uh, you have to be subscribed and comment down below. So these are the uh, prizes you could win. We have the Oscar Mayer whistle, a magnifying glass, a journal and pen so that you can write down your finds, like when you find like a coin you could write it down in your book here and a DDM metal detectives shirt this is the back and this is the front or you could get this color if you are a girl or you just like gray and pink you could get this color <clears throat> Make sure to comment down below and yes, thank you very much.